Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. I'm in the middle of the wilderness right now, but you know what? They still got internet access, so I decided to watch the Marvel Legends stream this morning, and I'm glad I did, because there's a ton of new Fantastic Four and some other X-Men type characters that are going to be coming later this year for Marvel Legends. They just kind of jumped right into it. Ryan, Dwight, and Dan took it away. 60th anniversary for the Fantastic Four, which means new Fantastic Four action figures. And ones that are based off of, let's say, retro Toy Biz Fantastic Four figures, which, you know, personally, I love. But at the same time, you know what? If you haven't already got them, you might want to jump on that retro Doctor Doom that came out, what, last year or something like that. I will have links for all of these things down in my description. Depending on when you see this video, they are not going up the same day as the reveals for today. They will be up tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So, again, whenever you see this, link's in the description below. Hopefully, come back. Yada yada. First up for the retro line is the Psycho Man. And he's a really nicely done figure. I have the old Toy Biz one. Comes with his fear, doubt, hate little trapper keeper thing, whatever <laughs> that he has. But they really capture the look of this guy. You can tell the sculpt is there. It's not just like, oh, okay, we're just going to do, you know, the bare minimum. All the sculpting, all the different leg wires, everything else. It's, he's, like, he's like a guy, like an orange guy in a space suit, basically. So absolutely love the look of that guy. And then here's another one, the High Evolutionary, which as far as I can tell, I mean, I've never had a figure of him that they ever did for Toy Biz either. So in either case, yeah. They did a great job on that one. I'm actually stoked. And as Dwight pointed out, they pointed every single orb all over his costume. So not to worry. All orbs on the High Evolutionary are <laughs> painted. And then we jump right into the Fantastic Four themselves with some new Fantastic Four figures. And right off the bat, we're going to be getting the thing. He's going to come with a couple different head expressions, right? More of the eh, not-so-happy Ben Grimm, and then more like a, a toothless Ben Grimm, we'll just say. A couple extra pairs of hands. Ryan went as far to say, you know, this is uh, it's going to be heavy on the packaging. So that's the same kind of heft you expect from the Thing figure, from the Walgreens figure, from the last Super Scroll Build-A-Figure wave. So in either sense, he looks good. He's got some darker blue trunks to match, let's say the new Mr. Fantastic. This one actually looks quite fantastic. I love that they did the whole Moira McTaggart thing where you can put him in the white lab coat or you don't have to. Plus he comes with some arm extension. Those those finger hand, I'm not a big fan of those, but I mean, I'm, I'm glad they're a little bit different now they have like a white glove to them. So yeah, they're interesting in that sense. Then we move on into the flame on Johnny Storm. He's going to have those painted black lines, like the classic artwork for Johnny Storm. That's how I think of Johnny Storm. Heads on fire. He's got some flame effects here and there, so he looks good. And just an FYI, yes, there are going to be two Johnny Storms, but we'll get to that in just a second, because next up is his sister, Sue Storm. Now, this particular look for Sue, it's got the blue costumes, power, you know, the, the visible powers, whatever Sue Storm does, you know what I mean? But yeah, she looks... Good in the body, the head sculpt, I don't know about that. <laughs> we'll see what happens on that end. But in either sense, you know, yeah, we got a new Sue Storm coming. And like I said, pre-orders will be available starting tomorrow. So depending on when you see this video, I'll have a links in the description below. These should go everywhere. We usually get our Marvel Legends at some point later in the year as well. Now we're going to be getting two different Hasbro Pulse exclusives. Now they said Hasbro Pulse doesn't mean that they could potentially be like Entertainment Earth and those types of fan channels. But as of right now, they are on Hasbro Pulse only. Again, pre-orders tomorrow, yada yada. Invisible Woman, who's actually invisible. So kind of, again, taking a nod to the original Toy Biz sort of one where she's all clear plastic they're going to be doing that same deal. And yeah, it's the same exact figure as the more in the retro line that we just talked about. Just all clear. And then we're going to be getting that Johnny Storm depowered down version, of course. That was teased a way bit back. So Johnny Storm, his sister, Sue Storm, both Hasbro Pulse exclusives for now. If they go elsewhere, yes, I will put links up 
everything else. But for right now, they are Hasbro Pulse exclusives. And I'll tell you this, that is the Johnny Storm that I wanted. They got you sneaky. That's a sneaky, sneaky move. <laughs> right there then moving forward we're going off into the galactus territory again i think as of now as of this video i think they just hit eleven thousand backers he is slowly moving towards earth perhaps silver surfer was late i don't know but in either case yeah he's making a slow descent to being fully funded there's about 20 21 days left something like that they need fourteen thousand backers the kicker, though, is that we need 16,000 backers just to get this new Frankie Ray figure alone. She looks good. They went into detail about her. She's cleaned, double pinned, full gold paint all over her. She comes with a sweet fire base. The fire base is cool because it will snap into Galactus's hand like he's doing the whole behold thing. You know what I mean? Now, again, depending on if it gets funded, one, in the first place, which, yes, it will get funded... But two, will we actually reach the stretch goals? And this is only the one they've shown off thus far. They said, don't plan on her really. I mean, they say this, but they say, you know, don't plan on her ever being re-released outside of this HasLab project. So we will see how this goes. So if you want Galactus, back him. If you don't want Galactus, don't feel bad. It's not a big deal. If you can back him, don't make people feel bad. Just let people be. God just relax. It's a toy, for God's sakes. Anyways, X-Force, three-pack. Yeah, now we're going into X-Men territory. We're going to have Cannonball, Domino in her 90s era garb, and then Richter. And all these characters are pretty darn cool looking, especially Cannonball, who now he's no longer Lieutenant Dan. He actually has his legs. So that's really cool to see. Domino, they made mention of her costume, how it looks different in the 90s, the comics, everything was a little off, shoulder pads, they made the details happen, so that's cool, it's not just like, eh, we'll just fudge it, you know what I mean? And then you got Richter, who I couldn't tell you anything about, but he looks cool, maybe I'll do a Who in the Holy Heck video on him, he sounds kind of fun, but he's got the powers, he's got a really cool look to a very 90s, very toy biz look to him, and that's why... I really like this pack. I like the way that it came out. This is going to be a shared exclusive between Hasbro Pulse and Shop Disney. Again, links in the description below when they're applicable. Yada, yada. So, Fantastic Four, to really wrap it up, right? 60th anniversary, all those figures. Galactus, if you want to back him. And then you got the X-Force pack, if you want to go ahead and grab that as well. They did have one last tease. Ryan showed it off. It's a little hand. It looks like a certain vampire's hand. It looks like a certain animated blue-haired vampire's hand with a little suction cup blood things because they couldn't show him eating people <laughs> for good reason on a 90s, you know, Fox Kids animated TV show. This is my guess. If you think it's something else, by all means, yes, comment below. But I am so hoping that it is animated series Morbius. So, Dan, Dwight, Ryan, thank you so much doing this whole Marvel Legends reveal. I'm going to get back to camping, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. What Marvel Legends figures are you excited about? Which ones are you like, eh? And are you going to be backing Galactus? Have you already? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have a nice big cup of coffee this week. Relax, enjoy, Collect some figures if there's time, but just enjoy the outdoors. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.